Okay, where is it? Is it here? Um, there we go, Alum Forest. Where we need to go next? It's already pretty frosty here. A bit weird as the, the trees were pretty green. I was expecting a little bit of green before we get to white. You know what? I think um, the Glacial Eye is not going to be a good weapon here. I'm going to defeat these enemies just to see afterwards what they have. Mm. Now I think about it, I think it's also okay if I show you guys like the first enemies of... or well, the first encounters that we get per area. I think that's also how I did it on... Um, what was it called? Tales of Legendia. Tales of... Eternia, I think I uh, showed almost everything. And Tales of Destiny 2, I think? I don't remember how I did that there. But I think there was a time when I couldn't, re um, not record, but couldn't uh, edit anything, so it made it kind of hard to edit out fights. But anyway, let's go ahead and we explore this area. But before we do that, I want to see if I can, like, equip that one. And instead of forest, I'm going to go ahead and take the other dude then. Tilkis. Formation, members, Chaos, Rubia, Tilki. There you go. At least Tilkis has a, a Flamberg, which is going to be a nice thing in this area. Mm, let's go ahead and check here. Monster book. We have the boss um, goblin. There you go. Very weak against fire, so very nice. And then we had. It was kind of cute, this one. Mm. Okay, that, that one doesn't have a weakness against thunder. That's nice. Mm. Which one was the other enemy that we had? It was not an owl round, right? It was not this guy either. It was not a grim. I found these ones. They were kind of funny. They, I guess they were quite tanky, because I think I don't think I did that much damage. But I think wind could be nice here. So we're gonna go ahead and take that one. Wait. Basement tanky? Oh, the wireless dungeon. We haven't done those ones yet. Treasure that for the Northern wanted to deliver to Corum. Corum. Haven't we been there already? I don't think we have. Memento, a memento? Yeah. Yes, wireless mode. My world map. That's about it. That's a pretty, pretty garbage world map, to be honest. Oh. This way, this way was a good. What kind of range? What was that kind of item? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, it could have been some kind of weapon. Hmm. Is it like a? Yeah, it was a. Another axe, though. We just had this one. What about this one? Mystic axe that resembles red hot flames. Well, if he also gets a fire weapon, then you know what? Chaos, Tilkis, and Forest, you guys are in. I might even be, able, might even have to use all my apple gills to heal up everyone every now and then. Just in case. We don't want to die. Because that would be pretty, pretty bad. So we're going to go ahead and explore a little bit more. And if I find something good, I might show you guys. But I think I might also end the episode on the next save point that we have. Now, I kind of want a fire weapon too. But I do not think that the weapons that we have are going to be that fiery. I know that the last one is going to be fiery, but none of the ones that we are getting now. 
Like our first one is water, the second one that we... Well, when I say weapon that we get, I mean like artifacts. Wait, someone learned a new spell. I think it was Aria. Concentration? Concentrate. Who's all nearby allies of Percy? Oh, okay. That's fine then. But... I know that the... Artifacts that we can get as Chaos. It's like the one that we had now was Shiden, which is Thunder. Oh, that's how an Ogre looks like. I didn't see them before. But I think that's also gonna be the last. Oh, come on, that was 929 combo. That was quite good. <laughs> quite good too, though. They cannot survive. It's really a shame we- oh! Forest finally got that one, gets that one. That's really nice. And we're gonna go ahead and equip that one on him. Master of the tubes. Uh, man with no home. That plus 30 though, oof. Yeah, you know what? A man with no home I think is gonna be a bit of a better one. What about these ones? Senchimbian Swordman. Yeah, Mans of the Tube, uh, Master of the Tubes is gonna be the best uh, saddle to get, but we're not gonna use that one yet, because that's kind of cheating. Because I kinda got that one on the internet, simply like that. Mm. Ah, there you go, Maya's friend. That was the one that we got when we did the little side quest. But as I said, that was also going to be the last, um, the last fight that we're going to see. And now I kind of wait. There we go, four string. I was thinking like, okay, that it has to occasionally. Okay, occasionally. I thought that uh, all the time nullify physical damage. That would be very overpowered. But uh, thankfully, it's only occasionally. Uh, well, I say thankfully because otherwise it would be pretty broken. I kind of transformed into <laughs> a beast there by mistake. I wanted to use a uh, an ability and then all of a sudden, beast form, and then I completely mashed those guys up. I'm gonna say though, this team quite powerful. It's like nothing survives there. There are encounters with us. Ah. As we go in a bit more deeper. Oh, wrong. Wait, there's an ogre. This ogre seems um, different than the other ones, so somehow. Indeed. Perhaps this one is a leader of swords. But we have to beat it if we want to pass, right? Ogres are the ancestors of both humans and Lemonians, right? How do we talk things out? Unfortunately, ogres are merciless to any but their own kind. Hmm. Hmm. Damn, it spotted us. Fight! We can do this. Ogre Chief, I forgot to change my. Hey, come on, man. Hey, come on, man. Otherwise, I want to do this. I can't do it. Come on, hit me! Hit me, man! Um, 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 um. <laughs> I do not like the the way it looks there. Hit me once! There you go, mate. It only took a little bit for you. That's how you do it. Come on, man! <laughs> he resists. He resists it. He resists the fight a little bit more. But there you go. That's how I like it. <laughs> Another taxi mode, that's nice. I'm going to give that one to Forest. Uh, but I wonder if the fights will become a bit too easy if we continue like this. Uh, first things first, I might have to use some orange gills. 
and then I'll have to use some odds. And by odds, I mean nurse, nurse, nurse. There you go. And then we'll have to change up. I already had one. We have one too. So you exchange one for one too. There you go. Use the text. No, my text symbol. <laughs> Equip it. There you go. But your text symbol is really nice. Increases our attack by quite a bit. Also, does um, have the best armor? Uh, no. Okay. There you go. Uh, I also have to be careful with items. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I was gonna wait with the power hammer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the 6. 7. With her own weapon, too. Because we can only have like 32. Weapons in total. Oh, we entered Senza. That's kind of nice. Now we just have to find a save point and we'll be good. Whoop, up, up. Now that's even perfect. Seems really quiet here. Is the village abandoned? Hmm, no, it doesn't seem to be. If it were abandoned, the village would have fallen into disrepair. Forest, is this Sansa? Yes, it is just as I remember it. Can't see them, but there are people here. They are watching us. This is scary. It's like we're being haunted by a ghost. The people of this village must have good reason to be this cautious. Who are you, and what do you want? We're not here to cause trouble. We're travelers. Where did you come from, Edelhebith? We crossed the desert. We have a very good reason for going on this journey. Are you Lemonian? Why is a Lemonian traveling with humans? How did you know I was Lemonian? I can't tell from your scent. There's a, this is a village for Lemonians who escaped from the humans. But now you, that you know we're here, we can't let you live here alive. Wait, hear me out. We want to meet with your elder. The fate of the world depends on it. Like we can trust a human? Then trust me as a fellow Lemonian. But please, there's something we must absolutely ha find out. You, you're strange. You, slim, you smell like one of us, but also like a human. Hmm. Very well, we'll let you meet with the elder. But you make one wrong move and you will regret it. Got it? We understand. We appreciate you hearing us out. This way, follow me. I am the leader of this village. I understand you have something to ask of me. We're in search of the patients created during the Beast War, and we wish to know more about the law of the life. Your pawns of Aurella! W wait, it's because the Pope is after them. If he gets his hands on the uh, patients, this world is in big trouble. The Pope is experimenting with the law of life, trying to perfect it. The reason he's arresting Le Monin is because he wants to find the patients as well. What a fool! He wants to repeat the mistakes of the past. Is Aurella going to meet the same end as Lemon? Please tell us, what exactly is the law of life? Lemon fell a century ago, and with it, the secret arts of the Lemonian people were lost. Our books, our records, and our memories now sleep and they beneath the sand. All that has been passed down is that there would, there would have been no beast war if not for the law of life. What does that mean?
What does that mean? Isn't the law of life meant to restore life? It, that is most certainly what some claim. However, some others it is the power to summon. Others claim it is the power to summon life. Summon? I may be old, but even I am not intimately familiar with the exam events of the war. But I can tell you what I've learned from others. The Lemonians were once a proud, prosperous people. But pride gave birth to arrogance. Lemonian tribes fought against each other. We were on the verge of destruction. In the midst of the turmoil, Prime Minister Kubert tried to save the world using a technique he learned from the Traveller. But it was not to be. Our land was reduced to dry sand and lifeless stone. Only the bloody tears of the Lemonian people remained. And that is all I know. A hundred years a hundred year old war is left is best left forgotten. Nothing good will come of it. Lemonian Prime Minister Kubert. Lucius mentioned him too. He said Kubert made the patients to use the precepts. But what we heard what you heard doesn't match up with that. Kubert tried to save the world using a technique he learned from the traveller, but he failed. And the bloody tears, in other words, the patience, remained, right? And the law of life didn't come up at all. The technique Kubert learned from the traveller is what we call the law of life. Learned from the traveller. The law of life can save the world? What exactly what... That's exactly what the Pope is saying. But what does that it all mean? Just what is the law of life? Those who could answer you should no longer be among the living. But the humans have, must have learned it somewhere. Mm, this just keeps in, it just keeps getting more and more complicated. Let's take a break. Good idea. If you don't mind, I would like to speak with the elder a bit more. Mm, okay, we'll take our leave then. Welcome back. You have grown since I last saw you. It has been a long time after all. Sir, please forgive me. You did what you thought was best. Your timing was mistaken, not your intent. But your life, we could, we should be thankful just for that. I haven't returned for over 14 years. Even though I knew my people were being hunted down by the humans, I couldn't return. It has been 14 years. Let it go. Those who survived are living their lives to the fullest, just as you are. I wasn't the only survivor. You didn't know? It was gravely injured, but Tolts survived. Tolts? You two were always close since you were the same age. Where is he now? He despises humans ever since he escaped from Janna. Revenge has been his only purpose. Tolz has trained himself and gathered young men who sympathize with him. They possess, possess considerable power. They intend to travel to Janna and set the city ablaze. Mm, what? And while they are Lemonians, they cannot hope to defeat the humans with so few. I must have realized it 14 years ago. Back then, you traveled to Janna with the dreams of reconciling with the humans. You were young, but you never lashed out at the humans, did you? Unlike you, Tolz always regretted his inability to, tr to strike back these 14 years. Because of his inaction, he watched his companions die, and even now, his people are being hunted. That is not right. You can't say that now. Isn't the reason you were able to return here because you now understand that? Indeed. These 14 years, my hatred for the people of Janna knew no bounds. It wasn't until I was able to let go of my hatred that I was finally released from happen from what happened back then. <laughs> How I feel. Forrest, you are mistaken. You are not mistaken. However, I cannot tell Tolds that I think he is mistaken either. He has suffered greatly. He has seen so many of his brethren die. But at this rate he will die for nothing. What Holds is doing will only widen the divide between humans and Lemonians. We have to stop him. I cannot do that. Because I too regret not punishing the humans when I had the chance. Hmm. I need to talk with everyone. 
What happened, man? Everyone, I have a request to make. Forrest, what's wrong? Tolls, my old friend, he, he intends to attack Janna. What? Has gathered a number of young Lemonians together in Loris. They intend to take a ship to Janna and burn the city to the ground. <gasps> no way. A small group can't hope to stand up to the knights. Even the knights won't have an easy time against a group of Lemonians. But, another way, Janna is going to be in chaos. We have to stop them. Humans and Lemonians have no reasons to fight. Hello everyone, what's wrong? There is big trouble. Forrest's friend is going to attack Janna. What? I beg you, please help me. We, he must be stopped. There's no longer any hes hes hesitation in your voice. We are with you. Obviously, we'll have to stop him no matter what. We'll leave to look clearly. Lower is south of here. Once we reach the desert, we need to head southwest. Thank you, everyone. Oh, in Loris. So we need to go to Loris. Okay, okay, okay. I think I can do that. Um, however, where am I? This is that house, I think. This is the eldest house, right? Wait, no, it is not. Welcome to the inn. Okay, it's the inn. Do we have any items here? We could have. Deluxe pizza recipe. Okay, that's unexpected, but I'll take it gladly. Uh, I'm gonna go also ahead and just explore this town. Seafood salad. Okay. And then we'll come back here to the inn and we'll save up. Mm, then let's see here. Okay, now I know where I am. It's good to know then. You sell various items here. Okay, then my dude, what do you sell? Stones? Garnet and Aquamarine. Um, those are pretty cheap. Fire and water damage. But those are really cheap. It's like I'm not gonna buy two of them, because why not? And also... I'm gonna buy a few of these. And a few of these. But uh, why is the melon gel as worth as the pineapple lemon combo? It should be like, this one should be 200 and this one should be like 120 or something like that. It's a bit too expensive, I would say. But you know what? That's fine. Uh, now with that one explored, we can go here, which should be the we weapon slash item shop. No, not item. Armor shop is what I mean. Mm, black stone, okay, that's fine. And then this is it's, it's something. Uh, is that a? That's not a. It's not one of these. What was it then? Nespresso? Doesn't seem to be here either. Nope. Uh, it's not a cooking item, right? No, otherwise, I would say, like, you got the recipe. Oh, this is key. What did I got just now? Is it an. Accessory? Could be, I guess. What is it? Ah, there you go. Espirizo. Details. Increases intelligence. Mystic symbol? Ah, oh, come on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Details. Yeah, you know what? That one is very good for her. And the seal ward can maybe change for up for that one. But I think, yeah, we had the floor right before, right? No, the other one, solid soul. So this the Esperi Esperizo should be a bit stronger. Okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's go ahead and see what they have here for items. Uh, let's check armor first, cause I think, yep, look at that. Those are very good armor pieces. Hmm. I might go ahead and buy the dragon mail on this one. And I think these two should be fine. We'll go ahead and check out. Come on, I want to check out. Already. I checked the weapons as well. Uh, base lord. 
try and the Dragon Bane. You know what? I don't have time. I'm gonna go ahead and check the weapons for next time when we leave. But for now, we need to go back and save up. Uh, it should be here. So then, everyone, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.